That's kind of everything cold. Everything went good. I'm not sure. Did you hear There's everything went good? There's 21 eggs so far. Yeah. They're still counting. Mm -hmm. I got 21 eggs for you. Mm -hmm. I got my mom. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hopefully more. Mm -hmm. You dropped it. Okay, I'm going to inseminate with approximately 48,000 sperm per egg. We use a, a 10 microliter volume, it's fairly small, but there are a lot of sperm in there. Unlike in Washington, where a single sperm from Al Friedman was placed directly into each egg, in Denver they favor a more natural method. Some 48,000 of Jack Nash's sperm are sprayed over each of Lisa's final total of 22 eggs. After fertilization, the embryos need three days to divide. You're a very good mommy to Monica. Will any of these be a marrow match for Molly? Is she night night? Yeah. It's been good. Everything's been going in the right direction. It's just kind of hard waiting. Sometimes it's like, I don't know if I can take anymore. The not knowing and the wondering. You don't have any control over anything. You have no control. It's visible. And then this morning, I guess it's just hormones. You go through menopause 25 years too early. And then they put you into overdrive. This morning I woke up and I was just crying. Everything made me sad. It never hurts to have a good cry, right, Molly? Mm -hmm. And you know, God's going to do what he wants to do. He'll give us a baby if he wants to, so. Twos and ones are what you want to see. Let's see, this one is a, a four cell grade three. So when is he going to call? Uh, there's number 10 and nothing. Didn't mature. I don't think she's going to be too happy with this. I'm going to put my blood pressure. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, I can't. How do we do this? Hello? Lisa? Uh -huh. oh, hi, Lisa. This is Kathy Tucker calling from the IVF lab. Uh-huh. How are you feeling today? Um, until about 10 minutes ago, I felt okay. Now I want to throw up. Can you do this? And some more could die by tomorrow, too. Okay, so now what? Thanks. Yeah. I can't ever do anything right, and this just isn't any different. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Bye. Three of them died. Only 11 of Lisa's 22 eggs developed to biopsy stage. They had hope for more. Once removed, the delicate single cells have a plane to catch to Washington. The sooner the cells reach Mark Hughes, the sooner the diagnosis can start and the sooner the right embryos can be identified for implantation. The longer the embryos remain out of the womb, the less viable they become. Hello, Dr. Hughes. This is Dr. Cotta. I'm calling you from the Denver airport. The sample has left on the 11.30 flight from Denver to Washington, Dallas. You should be able to get a sample around 5.30 at the airport. Good luck.
They made it. Eleven tiny cells. This will be the first genetic selection ever made for two purposes. To screen for the marrow match, multiple places on the genome have to be scanned, and the deadly error within the Fanconi gene must be located. This is the most difficult diagnostics we've done. And we have to do all of this in this short period of time that we have in order to make the diagnosis in time to transfer the embryos. It's pushing the limits. What are the chances of success from 11? We would predict that if everything goes according to plan, eight of them would be free of Fanconi anemia. And uh, of those eight, um, two of them will also be an identical bone marrow match for Molly. First stage, the thermocycler. By morning, the two strands of DNA in each cell will have been replicated millions of times. It's rolling. Sleep tight. All right, embryo one is a heterozygote. That means unaffected. Normal, mute, like mom and dad. Embryo two is also a heterozygote. Great! <laughs> As hoped, eight of the 11 embryos do not carry the Fanconi disease. But what luck with the marrow match? Two is a... Two... Twelve. Bingo, we got one. The good luck held. There was a second marrow match among the healthy embryos. Ten. Those are the two. This is great. We've got... Uh, We've got some embryos to transfer now. We have to. In Denver, the IVF team stands by. There they are. Don't drop them. No, that was it wasn't that was, Kathy. That was the one. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I'm just saying. You may be able to see a little starburst-type image on, on the, okay? Yeah. Where they, um, where we put them, uh -huh. they, they stay, uh, no, they stay there. No, what happens if they implanted really, really close together? That wouldn't hurt them? Not at all. Okay. Not at all. Mm -hmm. This isn't quite how you usually do it, but. <laughs> no. That's why I said no champagne, no moving. <laughs> well, I guess. That's okay. Oh my God. Right. Oh, please be healthy, guys. Please be healthy. Please be strong. There she is! Jesus! Oh, 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 mama. oh, 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 I have a baby brother or sister. Thank you. I have two little babies in my tummy. The first embryos ever selected, both for health and for trait, are out of the lab and into the womb. Has the door to designer babies been opened just a bit wider? It is likely that that the field of